Hey there, Ulti Zeta here, and welcome to the next episode of Ori and the Will of the Wisps. And I'm actually just realizing now I might have completely forgotten to intro myself <laughs> in the first episode. Good job me. I was too excited. I let the hype happen, and I just kept talking. You can tell it's been two months since I last recorded, which was Gargoyle's Quest. A quick let's play I did to try and get myself back into recording, and then I wound up not being able to do anything for a month again, because again, I got sick, couldn't talk, and then I had stomach problems, and there's apparently something there that hurts me. Good to know. Um, in between episodes, I checked the recording for one thing, and I saw that seemed fine, despite those weird encoding overloads I saw on OBS Studio, so whatever happened didn't ruin anything, so that's good. Um, and also, I changed the game's resolution a little bit. Hi, wolf person. I'm gonna run away from you because that's what Ori does against bosses like you. He runs. He gets chased. And he bashes you with fire! Oh my god, you have a health bar. Ow. I'm not doing very good. So my problem is I'm doing too much of the combo. I also only did half of his health there. Alright, so reducing the frame rate didn't seem to necessarily fix the problem that I had, which was some of the stuttering. I I wrote lower the resolution to 75% just to kind of like be like, hey, will this help the game run a little bit smoother on my computer? I don't know, but let's find out. Howl's then. I'm very interested in seeing how this game progresses right now, because it's remarkably different in ways I didn't expect from Ori in the Blind Forest. Like, the lack of auto-save whenever you want, the lack of well, do I have a skill tree? Your charts. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Inventory. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff at the bottom. Okay. Um, right, yes. So, no skill tree. Oh, but all these things do sp pop in on my map automatically. So interesting. Track quest. Hmm. All right. Also, I should. W I one thing I also want to say. Um, in the original Ori, I had issues with the controller. Should not be an issue anymore. I'm not using my PlayStation 4 controller. I'm using a Switch Pro. That's... that's... yeah. I don't think reducing my resolution helped any... I mean, as far as, like, all these stuttering is, are concerned. Oh, God! It's a tree! This looks remarkably like one of my old... Uh, the old spirit trees that we would find. What power is this gonna give me? And then Ori died. The end? Um... 
as an ancient light awakened. Is this gonna swap me over to Ku? Naru and Gumo sought through the night. Ugh, they didn't... We never came back. We never came back. Oh, God. Sure, all the geese came back just fine. Oh, I'm alive. Hi! You are not like the others. The Shrieker the Howler! In you shines an ancient light. The tree remembered. It knowed, it glowed! It has shared its memory with you. Cool, now I have... Hold left trigger to assign it to X, Y, or B to unleash combo attacks. Now use the light we want to see. So we have a tree inside us now. Hold left trigger. Am I gonna get, like, Legend of Zelda items? Like, in in a way, and like be able to assign them. To... Interesting. Well, I put it on X because X was attacking beforehand. So. And yes, this is this is basically the exact move that I. The exact kind of thing that like Ori really kind of needed. Combat. Something to actually like attack with. So, something that just that wasn't isn't mindless basically. Because that was always the biggest problem with what was the combat in the first game. Other than Bash, it was basically just mindless. But now we have at least something a little more. And, like, there's definitely some good promises of more to come if those ability slots are any question. This guy is attacking me a lot. Magnet! Orbs float to Ori, Ori from further away. Next level? God, this is interesting. What is... I wonder what that's going to mean. Also, I find it easier to remember the Xbox buttons on the Nintendo controller by not looking at the buttons at all and just thinking, okay, just think Xbox controller despite using a Nintendo controller. It's weird, but it actually kind of helps me not press the wrong button. Like, I just have a mental picture in my head of what A and B are. The light listens to you. You must be a spirit after all. I mean, Moki thought all the spirits had gone from New Inn. Gone away! So long, spirits. You seek someone. We know a finder. The Great One! Great and Mossy. Go to the Guardian of the Marsh. Quolock will help you find your way. And everything's dark. That way. Okay. Moki think he can help you find the coup. Alright. Reward 200 gold. Alright. So... My question is, when do I get Bash back? Because... Because, like... That was kind of like Ori's staple, is the thing. I do like the directional inputs on this, that's... It makes combat a little more just than, like, mash the button, because, like, depending on what direction you hit, you go in different directions, and you can, you can jump into the... Wow. This is gonna be really versatile. That's interesting. One of the... Uh, th I should also point... bring up one thing. I got criticized in for my original Ori playthrough 
my original Ori Let's Play. When, like, I was very... Very excited for it, and my commentary kind of devolved into just mindless, non-stop gushing. Not even necessarily, like, critical praise, just like... Oh, that door's locked. Go away. Ow. Go away. Oh, look, more. Yay! Um, I want to try and make sure that even if I am praising this game, which I probably am, I want to at least make it more, like, thoughtful and reasonable and, like, with actual coherency behind it. Oh. Another one of these already? Ah, I can double jump. Given that to us early, I see. I approve. I appreciate the mobility. It's nice. Sticky! Or he sticks to walls. Oh, they're just kind of giving us... They're giving us the powers from the first game now. That's exciting. But in conjunction with this cool sword. This is an interesting progression. Also, I can pogo off of these enemies, and that's really cool. Why is pogo- why is pogoing in platformers, like, one of the most fun things you can really do? Because, like, it works in DuckTales, it works in Zelda, sort of, it works in, um, Shovel Knight. It's just an ex exciting thing. I guess it's because, like, it's, an, it's a natural sort of extension of normal platforming, if you think about it. Because, like, normal platforming, like, what do you do in Mario? You jump on a Goomba. And it, and even that kind of springs you up. You know? Like, that's how, like, you can one-up bounce on things. Oh. So, I guess it is just kind of a, just a natural, like, extension, and, like, applying it to combat just makes it, like, feel fleshed out and interesting, or something, I don't know. Alright, so this is definitely an Ori 1 sort of style of thing. I'm glad that there are some of these, like, staples and ideas that are still represented, because there is also a lot of difference so far. Okay, I can't push it yet. Gotta pull it first. But like pushing a rock to stop a laser beam, that's that's a that's a blind forest thing. Absolutely positively. Right, so that's a keystone. I still need one more. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, that'll work. Trying to be fancy when all I need to do is just accept my losses and do it their way. Alright, where am I going? Uh, zoom. Ooh, look at all these dots. That's where I came from. Oh, that's neat. I like that. Okay, so I can kind of go to the right-ish, but it looks like I mostly want to go back up and get that and then go to the left. That kind of looks like what I'm doing. Alright, so. What's over here on the right? A save point. The light from the wells runs all through Nguyen. It joins, it heals. saved. 
All right, I'm glad I went this way. So, yeah. I I am still I'm really I'm I'm interested in seeing what they do with like the save point thing because like that was one of the key elements of Blind Forest that worked so well in my opinion was like being able to set your own pace and like save so like removing that I can juggle enemies with this that's that oh ow that was that was smart but that's cool um the save point system it was a feature that I really did enjoy a lot so like removing that was unexpected to say the least for me at least at least at least at least boing boing that didn't really boing me and I exploded but I just appear there I guess there's just like set save points for this now I want to bash. I want to break through that. I want my powers back. Let me in. Thank you. All right. Poison water. You're a secret. You're glowing. That's something to look out for. Alright, blue moss I can cling to. Yep. Go away now. I need to get better at like not just using my combo with me. Oh you're a slug. I thought you were the bouncy guy. Oh, you're gonna explode. Yep. I recognize that kind of behavior from a Hollow Knight. <laughs> Life. Nice. Can I go across? Is there spikes going up that whole wet walk? No. Alright. Oh, that was just for life. Yeah, that was a, that was a secret bonus. Because I'm good at finding things. Uh, I guess this is one thing I should probably just point out. I am probably going to be trying to go for 100%. I say probably because I don't know necessarily, but I did that in the original Ori. So unless this game goes hog wild, I'm probably going to try it again. Plus, like, seriously. If this game continues with just, like, this this kind of gameplay and my expectations, admittedly, from the original Ori, like... I have the utmost faith that I'm going to enjoy this. So... Oh, they're fragments, so they're like pieces of heart. I was thinking of like, I was, I was viewing them like as like actual health for a second. Uh, did I go to the left over there? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, this is where I jump, just kind of jumped down, that's right. Because this is where the wolf, oh, hi, didn't even see you there. Are you a spirit? Then tremble, spirit! You stand before Mock the Brave! It is not very convincing, I know, but I am brave, or I would be with a trophy. A trophy like a Howl Skull, or just a Fang, if that's too heavy. I heard the Howl fighting to the east. Maybe a dropped one? Side quests! We have side quests! That opens up a lot! Maybe I... You know, when I described the, a thing at, like, a Zelda, maybe I wasn't too far off the mark. So I'm 
looking for a wolf thing. Um, I was I was talking about Metroidvania style design earlier, and how like the original Ori, I, it might have been in the previous episode actually. Um, the original Ori was very linear and not as good as a game, it, in my opinion, as it was, and as good as a platformer as it was. Uh, not really a good Metroidvania, I would say. But, one thing that's been, like, something to be able to praise this game, or at least expect to praise this game for, for the longest time, was that, like, one of the earliest things it said it did. And definitely one of the original, like, hold on. Real hell thing, now no one will doubt me. This is for you, I am brave but also generous. I found some ore. A clever craftsman could use this to repair structures. Um One of the original one of the things that like it was definitely one of the biggest criticisms of Ori that I think most people agreed with was that like as a Metroidvania it wasn't really quite up to snuff. Um... But one of the things that they definitely talked about fixing was that uh, element of the original. And one of the earliest tires that they got for the game. Oh, this is a tree I'm absorbing light from. Regenerate! I can become a new doctor. So... Channel energy to heal. Alright, well, I'll keep that on there for now. Um... Basically, what I'm trying to say is that they hired uh, the level designer of another Metroid 2 remake, which I never played. I don't, but I know a lot of people praised it. Also, these mutant squirrel things are like the new frogs. All they do is jump. I say squirrel, but I think they're more insectoid. I think what I interpreted as a tail is actually a big abdomen. But yeah, the aim to our guy. Uh, never played it, but I know a lot of people praise that game. Some people even more so than actu the actual Metroid remake. Goal is to go over there. I'm basically just backtracking at this point. Which is interesting. That's where I woke up. Or I guess this is where I woke up. And this is where I couldn't couldn't go. What is this down here? Oh, right, this. I don't have a torch, so I can't actually get that yet. Alright, so I can't break everything with my weapon. Actually, that makes me wonder if I could even have done that before. Go away. I, I love throwing these guys in the air. I don't know why, but it just makes me amused. Oh, you're not an enemy. 
Greetings, traveler. I am Lupo, map maker extraordinaire. <sighs> Quite the storm that passed through. Made my maps a little soggy, so I'll give you half off, agreed? <laughs> After all, rumor has it that you're looking for a friend, and what's better for finding things than a map? <laughs> Care to purchase a map of these fine fens? Okay, but I'm gonna need to know what a fen is. <laughs> Much obliged. What are you, also? Do you have springs for antennae? Oh boy. Well, that didn't help me find that guy. But that does show me that there's a big room up here. And another warp point. No, that's not a warp point. What the heck is that? What is that triangle thing? Well, I guess I can find out. On my own. I wonder if I should go over this way, or not. I don't know, I can fast travel back here if I ever need to. Makes me interested. But for now, I think the key thing is going up. It's kind of getting back to where came from it and stuff. That's definitely something for when I can bash. I will appreciate being able to bash sometime. I miss that power. Why did Ori forget how to do it? Diamond! Resilience! Reduce damage taken. That seems like it would be nice. That's not what I want to do. I took one less damage. Useful. <laughs> what I'm wondering is how you level up these things. That's, that's my big question. Because like, it keeps bringing up, oh, if you level this up, you can get a thing. Oh, I'm missing a orb of power. Okay. You know, that's also a nice touch, how like, the, the little jingle that you did something right, like, just then. It really meshes with, like, the... The music. Like, it doesn't feel like it interrupts anything. It just feels like it's just part of the song. And that's nice. Okay, so this is where I began. There's enemies here now. Probably gonna end this episode soon. Because it has been a little bit of time. I'm having problems platforming. Do 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 do. Still can't really do anything else over here. Good to just kind of confirm that, I suppose. What does what does that look like on the map? Oh, hmm. This is water. Interesting. Alright. So yeah, nothing really over there. There's a thing up there. I probably can't get to it, though. There's several things. 
Can I get to this? Well, let's find out. There's that that I can't get to. Is that what I'm seeing? Well, it's sort of what I'm seeing. Yeah, I definitely can't get to that. Can I get to this? No, because that's under the water. Alright. Answered questions. That is the important motto here. Alright. Well, there's new stuff over this way. And whatever this feathery beard thing is. But, for now, I think I'm going to call this an episode. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode for more Ori and the Will of the Wisps! God, I'm excited. We we learned a lot today. Ori's incredibly proficient with a sword, considering he never did anything like this in the previous game. It's kind of impressive. <laughs>